Thank you for letting me into your studio. Oh, your work, you're your work looks amazing. Uh, what exactly uh, kind of artwork do you do? Well, I work primarily um, in watercolor, and on watercolor, I use either the watercolor paper or I work on synthetic paper, which gives it a completely different finish. Um, I'm also into alcohol ink. And again, I'll work on synthetic paper or actual ceramic tiles. And here's an example of uh, a piece that is typical of what I do for the alcohol ink. It's a six by six tile. And then what I'll probably, what I usually do is do the sky first, let it dry, and then work on the different colors. And the interesting thing with the alcohol inks is that uh, if you blend the colors when they're wet, they'll always kind of give a very soft color and you'll see the, the, uh, uh, the different shades and shadows of the color. Whereas when you apply it when the rest of the paper or the painting is dry, you'll get harder lines, which again, give it a different effect. And then to finish the product, I mounted it on a cradle board and you can hang it and uh, it gives it a nice contrast and a clean finish. Recently started working with encaustics, which is, if, so, if you don't know, it's working with melted beeswax and there is some Damar resin, which will harden the beeswax. And when you're painting, you add in different, to, to get the different colors, you're using uh, oil pastels or um, uh, oil sticks or you can use pan pastels, but you layer the wax on, in this case, I've done a wooden cradle board, and you'll layer the, the wax, and after each layer, you have to fuse it either with a blowtorch or a heat gun, which is the setup that I have here. And the beauty of the encaustic is that you can put layers of different colors, and then if you want, you can scrape back and expose the bottom layers so that you're constantly changing the top finish. This here was, I wanted to do a series um, and playing basically with two or three colors, but I wanted to transpose the colors and have them. So here we've got the sand or the beach area at the top of the water at the bottom. Then I've reversed it and I put the sand with the water here. And again, here it's sort of the same idea. And I just very roughly took a very loose brush to mark in the people and their shadows just to create some activity on the beach. And yeah. yeah, so this, this is one of my favorite pieces that I've done. And uh, so I have it hanging upstairs. And it is uh, watercolor on the um, synthetic paper. Yes. And I just attached it to the wood panel uh, with gel medium underneath. And again, it's I always love doing landscapes uh, with trees and water, as you can see from, from the work that I've done. And the uh, synthetic paper just allows you to, again, go back and create that negative space here. And the trees, again, are just very loose and abstract and more of a hint a suggestion especially up here where it's basically faded out uh, so i will be welcoming uh, guests in my new studio which will be completed by then and i will also have um, another artist showing here with me her name is ruth mccurdy and she is a photographer she does beautiful work so the two of us will be here and I hope that you'll come see us on September 9th and 10th out here in the LA Studio Tour in Lenox and Ivington County.